What's up, hybrids? Welcome back to another episode of the Phantom Hybrid Podcast. This is Hanako, and I am here with Anthony, Michelle, and Mike. And we are discussing episode eight of The Last of Us. It's hard to believe it's already been eight episodes. It feels it's only like one left. by fast. It, it's going by fast. Like, we only have one episode. I'm like, wait, no. But anyway, episode yeah. eight. Did they release one episode the first week? Mm. Oh, it's been two months already. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and it was extended episode. It too. was an extended episode. That episode, I think that first episode was like an hour and 20 minutes. So it yeah. was long as fuck. But okay, we got to talk about this episode because I'm going to tell you, first two words out in, in the whole episode, and I was like, oh, we about to be on some fuck shit tonight. <laughs> I was wondering when the religious zealots were going to enter the picture. And I got my answer. They entered this week. And boy, oh boy. And I almost knew it. I almost knew immediately that that this was a cult instead of just regular. Like as soon as they started talking, I was like, oh, we in some cult shit now. Like, fucking shit. I was like, this is a cult. know if I want to call like, it nah. cult. Because it wasn't They're cultish. Like... They're cultish. cultish. Right. Yes. I, and I apologize for people who are in a cult. But what no, but y'all need to get out. Of it. No, I way. don't apologize. Y'all need to get out the cold. If you want to cold, right me, now, get out. But made me go that way. Not that he, you know he's he's reading a verse from the Bible. If they all dress alike, like you can't even dress like the people in Jackson. Like well, I mean, you look like it, you in a cold. I mean, think about it. Small town. They look pretty far off from everywhere. Again, the visuals. I would love to live in these places, except just take away the snow. And the cold oh, air. Okay, I was about to say, no, you won't. No, <laughs> no you don't. take away the snow and the cold air. Leave the snow capped mountains the way they are. Leave it looking pretty, but add some, like, I don't know, artificial warmth to it. I'll be good. It's so pretty. But they're so far off from people. I, you know, I don't think people who live remotely like that, they're not looking for the fashion magazines and to be. I'm sorry. Like no, no, no. The people, people in Jackson look like regular people. Flannel shirts, khaki pants, flannel pants, joggers, whatever you could get your hands on. This group right also, here. They also this group is like, wearing clothes from the teacher fashion magazine from 1975. No, yeah. they're they're over there wearing wearing Kanye West new new two no. thousand forty five line. Mm-mm. That's usually wearing them old raggedy shit. But what I noticed sad. about the two the two <laughs> towns, if when if when you compare them, Jackson, they looked a little more organized. Like one, there there was a democracy there. There was not of just course. one person in charge. There were several people in charge. They were well organized. They seemed well adjusted. And we know that they were sending people like they they were growing their own things. They were probably making their own clothes or they probably had clothes from before. This particular town here, they didn't seem like they had it together. Like they are part of the raiders that's going through trying to take people's stuff. So they probably right, but they could have went into this is a resort. I bet they had a store. Where's some of those clothes, please? See, well, and this probably you know what? the dead folk. Subversively, I'm wondering if this is like like a kind of a side eyed commentary of like of how things are like how how things like they're saying if this happened today, how would certain sides react? Like mm-hmm. you could see like people who aren't that religious, like saying, Oh, we gotta organize, we gotta get this shit together, you know, we got da da da. You can see people who are on the more religious side they say oh well we got to read our bible we got to and eat and if we don't if we don't eat then we'll just eat bob we'll be fine because they both look like they eat they each look like one side looks like they eat vegetables and chicken and the other side looks like they eat people they they they, well, they look think, exactly like they are i think they, the whole exactly. problem was they probably it doesn't seem like they started out that way like they got to a point where they start like Obviously, they're not growing their food and stuff like the Jackson people are. They're mm-hmm. not part of the the QZ because um, David even mentioned something about when the I think he said the I forgot which 
the Pittsburgh QZ when it fell. Yeah. That's where he was. So they don't seem to have the means. And I feel like it's almost like you have these people who, like you said, Mike, okay, and we are going into some stereotypes when it deals with like overly zealous religious fanatics that sort of thing in um you know in entertainment it seems like you have this group of people they don't know how to organize they don't know how to fend for themselves they were probably you know very ill prepared to deal with this world and so they took the one person who seemed like he knew what he was doing again this is a, this man is a teacher he's educated i don't know what any of these other people did but they took somebody who looked like he was a leader who might be able to help them. And maybe he, maybe he did help them for a while, but after a while, if you're not growing and your they, own stuff, if you're not, but they were growing their stuff though. I'm going to give them some credit. They just said they couldn't, this past season was difficult. Last I, six I'm months. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm kind of along those same lines with Hanako. Just like, I think they kind of got desperate and he sort of kind of took advantage of that to get where he is. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I kind of feel that way too. Mm -hmm. He's also yeah. kind of corrupt and rotten on the inside. Kind of? And, kind, kind in, in, of? And, and <laughs> also, he seemed like to be the type that would take the easy way. Like, it's easy to just say, really Bob, instead of actually going out and hunting for food. You know, or, I mean, yeah. think about it. What's her name? She was out there one day, and she got her a buck, Ellie. Right. Like, which all? And they were going to steal it. <laughs> right. They were getting ready to steal so, that shit. So they're like, hurry up, put it, get here. We go take it. Like, right. Well, they're like, not, what kind of preacher are you? They were and I feel talking. like they're really not. Their raiders really aren't out looking for like leftover food. They're looking for people to bring back to eat. <laughs> to say. Yeah, they're going like, Joel and Ellie were dinner. I, I don't I don't think I don't feel like they're looking for people solely for that purpose. I feel oh, really? like they are, oh, no, oh. seriously. I really feel like because even when um Not I, forgot, I forgot what the guy's name was, but when he tells David, he was like, Hey, such and such and such and such, they think they saw two deer out, you know, a few miles out. And he was kind of looking at him like, can we go and get them? And then David was like, okay, go go get our boys. We're going to go hunting. So I think if they can find the food, they probably won't do the other stuff. But I think it's gotten to the point now where for him especially, I feel like the line is blurred. He's just kind of like, okay, whatever we have to do to survive. The other people in his group who know what they are doing to survive, they're like, okay, but hey, if we can go and find these two deer, that that means we don't have to right. do what we've been doing. I, I don't think- And they attacked Joel because he had a horse and they wanted that horse. I meat. think, yeah, I, that's what I think too. <laughs> right, and supplies that they had. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, serious, they, you know- <laughs> Because that group may not have known. So they were looking for, you know, supplies and, you know, okay. animals. But they didn't even like... Try to get the monkeys? Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's up? Hey, we are with the group. Because, and then no, bash because them on they back were already the head leaving. The Joel and Ellie were They were leaving. He, they were trying to get that. That was a week's worth of meat running away. <laughs> so they had to do something about that. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'll okay. be honest. That's what I think, too. I don't think they started out that way. And I don't think it was like if you think about, again, going back to Walking Dead and you go into the Terminus people, by the time our group got to Terminus, oh, yes, they were full fledged cannibals. They were kind of taking pride in it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think this group is is like this or at least the group that's not because they either. didn't know. If they would have known, did, they would have been though. different. Some of them did know when the little of them did, but the majority, the majority of those people had no idea what they no, were they eating. Even, when, even the cook, well, some of the cooks didn't know. Like the guy was bringing the meat, and he was like, "What's this?" Like found deer and just walked away. No, those mm. people who were preparing the food, they knew, they knew, they they knew, knew. because yeah. but, the but, way that he said it. It's kind of like one of those. Okay, so what are we telling people this is if they ask? Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I agree. So. I think the people who were preparing the food were aware, um, you know, some of the people, and, and I think those were the people who 
who he looked to at the beginning when the little girl asked when are we going to bury my dad and he kind of turned his head real quick her mama was looking like oops and the other guy was looking like oops like how do we handle this everybody else was still looking kind of like sad because they were mourning one of their own so I was like yeah I think mean, these people, they are aware. And, you know, when they come outside and they're talking and David says to him, he was like, you know, I sensed a little bit of doubt in there. He was like, no, people will be okay. He was like, not from them, from you. And he couldn't exactly tell him, well, I really don't care about the fact that we are eating people. But I mean, he was just kind of like, it's it's been a difficult six months. And yeah. I mean, if they're 20 years into the apocalypse and they only started doing this six months ago, then I'm not going to say that, oh, they just out and out cannibals. They they hit a rough patch that they were like, okay, we either do yeah. this or we starve. However, I'm on the board. I'm on the fence in the beginning because I'm like, okay, I can understand. It's been a rough time. You know, there is no production of food. You may be in an area that you really can't grow food. Animals are lacking. Desperate desperate like the movie alive desperate mm -hmm. desperate 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 okay bob died two days ago let's you know have some hibachi you know however <laughs> we went from just we're desperate with hibachi to full on we have fogo de chow buffet thank you no i can't <laughs> go with that well, and I mean, they, they they to try to justify that. I mean, the the body <laughs> that Joel saw, and I mean, yeah. the, the way that they talk about it, they talk about it like, okay, so I'm thinking maybe when their people die, because you can't just be taking people in your name in, in your your community and just have them missing, and then just be like, oh, well, where did such like that'll be too obvious. But if folks right. are dying and you have and you do have the excuse, oh, the ground is too hard, we'll bury them in the spring. Now, what you gonna do come spring when you have no bodies to bury? I don't know, but that's not my business. I no. mean, well, you I just guess at have some a point, sack and be you like, throw oh, something. Okay, in well, there. they decayed enough that it's just right. Lit but we have gone to cannibalism because desperate times. We have no food. We're starving. This has been three days. Grandma has passed away because of hunger. Let's go ahead and eat grandma like to the, survive. The donor party like that. No, nah, grandma's yeah. tough. We got to eat one of the kids. Right. Like, you know, right. like you know. <laughs> <laughs> but we got to boil, boil grandma before we eat her. It's like she, for, I mean, you know, for the meat falls full off. Full fledged bone. have bodies hanging along with the deer, horse. We have problems. Mm hmm. I mean, Thank just try it. Right, you're I can't. I it. can't justify now doing eating it people. In a desperate way. Yeah, you you're yeah. stocking up. Yeah, you have. yeah. You, you know, you're not even <laughs> you like you said. Stock. You're not even trying for rabbit, some squirrel, the monkeys at the the school. You like no friends. This week got the hell on. Excuse me, right. when Joel and Ellie showed up, they were like, "No." Mm -mm. They're like, "Oh, this is more than crazy." Mm -mm. Exactly, because they probably tried it before. They're like, "Oh shit, more than crazy motherfuckers." Come on, we gotta go. Come on. Right. Because right. now you're going to start acquiring the taste for people. I'm just saying. Okay. And since I'm afraid and I apologize because this probably put put me on some sort of watch list, but I looked up what happens if you eat too much human flesh. And there's, there's something that's called kuru, which is like a protein that can damage the brain if you eat too much of it. Mm. So basically you become, they, they say it's kind of like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde thing where you can like all of a sudden just snap and like go off on somebody and probably bite them and try to eat them. It damages your cerebellum. So basically you become zombie. So it's kind of a different kind of clicker. So, I mean, okay. Yeah. But then, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe David was kind of normal. Then he started eating human flesh and they kind of took him the other way. No, and he became no David said he was dark like, from yeah. the get go. He because, said he was dark. Yeah, when he talks to Ellie yeah. later on, he was like, yeah, I, I know what that's like because I, you know, I'm violent too. I've been violent too. We'll, we'll get to Man, that. He's, this is, you, the yeah, whole, you get to get that whole, creepy motherfucker. Ooh. Like, 
when the the scene where he was sitting there talking to the talking to Ellie, my daughter was in the kitchen and she just heard him talking. She was like, something don't sound right about him. He on some bullshit. Something no, mm -mm. I don't even know what this show is about, but yeah, he ain't right. Just from the little bit of conversation, I was just sitting there looking like, hmm, so this is the path we're going down. It was bad enough when we figured out that he was the cannibal. But then when you realize that he was, I'm looking, I'm looking for somebody. I need a friend. But that ain't the kind of <laughs> friend you were looking for. You trying to you trying to make Ellie your little wife. I was like. Oh, we're or when, or when he, or when, when the, when the little girl said we should go kill them both, and he walked over and fucking and gave her five to the backhand side. I was like, <laughs> like okay, mm -hmm. oh, and and the mother just stood up. And he was like, eh. and she and he just, just sat back down. Just and I was like, her. <laughs> she sat down, and he was like, what did he tell her? He said, I know he you said, think you don't have a daddy right now, but you will always have a daddy, and you are going to respect what he says. I was like, oh. respect what I say. Like, what kind of daddy are you talking about? Because, um, <laughs> sir, no. Man, this anyway, we're gonna talk about his creepy ass later. Let's let's get back to the to the top. So, <laughs> Ellie is still taking care of Joel. He, you know, she's sewn him up. He's still unconscious. And I love the way that we see her taking care of him now. Because again, when you think about where they started in this friendship or this relationship and where it is now, it's like, yeah, that's definitely parent-child now. Like there is no, oh, you're you're the cargo, oh, you're just getting no, this this has this has become a thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And she gets to the point where she's like, okay, I have to take care of him now. I have to go and do this. And so she goes out and she does everything that he taught her as far as hunting. Like, think about it. She sees the rabbit at first. And I think with the rabbit, she probably got a little too excited because we don't know how long they've been in here. You know, we don't know how long it's been since she ate. I mean, she pulled those little um, beef jerky rations out and she was going to town like she was starving. So we don't know how many days it's been. And she she can't find anything. She sees the rabbit. She runs towards it. It runs off. Then she sees the deer. And when she saw the deer, I was like, yes, Ellie, get it, get it. But then I was like, how the fuck you going to get that shit back home? How is this? But... You know, Ellie, if anybody can figure out a way to get a home, it's Ellie. I trust absolutely. her to figure out how to get the. Mm. She'll she figure that she shit out. Went and got the the horse and found some string and been like, okay, let's 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 drag this thing. You it look like it would look like Blue Blue Hawk after A Train dragged it home. <laughs> 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 At least she wouldn't have to skin it. It'd be skin oh. Yes, she. Would. Who's, gonna, who's gonna field dress it? There's no one else to field. She's gonna have to. She's in the snow. It, oh, it would yeah, be well preserved. Okay, it okay. would be well preserved. Oh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm tracking. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> when they show the deer and you got the two guys standing there and they're looking around like, I don't see anybody. You think we can just take it? I was like, if you see this deer with a gunshot in it, you really think the person who shot it finna just let you take that kill? Hell no, it ain't that kind of party. That's what I told Michelle. I said, you looking at that shit and you don't realize that somebody shot it. With a rifle, right? That, that was the entitled to... white man statement. Right, you're trying to like, <laughs> yeah, someone... they didn't come and get it yet, so let's exactly. go ahead and grab Somebody it. Somebody shot it with a rifle with really good aim. You really yeah. trying to look? Yeah, you. Chances are, if they have that good of aim, you just looking around like this ain't gonna find them. Mm -hmm. Like they, they could hit. They could hide well enough to hide from a deer and shoot it in the heart and kill it. What makes you think they ain't gonna do the same to your ass? He's right. like. Sorry. And just yeah, because she, you're she cannibals, could she could be cannibals too. She could have been shooting you to eat you for later. Exactly. She would have had a full full on feast. Shoot. What are you talking about? Appetizer, main entree, and dessert. No, uh, you know uh -huh. what? Uh -huh. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Move so our red, head, the red, the redheads taste a little pep, more peppery than regular people. Oh my god, we are not doing a little this. bit more seasoned salt on it. We are not. 
<laughs> they a little more spicy. <laughs> we are not. But when when David starts trying to talk to her and he's like, hey, we can help each other out. You can't drag this by yourself, blah, blah, blah. You know, you can split it with us. We have things that you might need, like boots. When she said medicine, I was like, I was like, I, under, I understand where it came from. But still, like Ellie, you played your only card. And then, of course, once we find out later on that the guy that actually stabbed Joel was one of their people, I was like, oh, this is about to get so dark so quick. And I just had no idea of the turn that it was going to take. Because I'm like, did they really bring Bob back to serve him to everybody? Like, was that the, was that Bob's soup that they were eating when they brought the deer back in? Hey, look, waste not, want yes. not, okay? Waste not, want not. You know how they, they, they already said they were few and far between as far as meals go. You ain't wasting still, nothing. They dragged Bob back. Bob's Thank wife you. is one of the cooks. But she don't know which day Bob was served, okay? It didn't have exactly. Bob written on the wrapper. <laughs> but yeah, Bob, yeah, they could have they could have Bob Diaz like one day and just not not knowing that it was him. Like, yeah. To the listeners, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so like sorry. I don't know how I don't know how the warehouse etiquette works. Like, do you start with the fresh? Do you, you start with the least fresh one? And work your way back. So Bob, yeah, you got to rotate it out. You got to rotate that out. Yeah, that's true. Because you know we don't want that meat to be so tough from the from the murder. So we got to let it relax. Exactly. Let your soul relax. The meat relaxes. You can you can only dry age the legs because that's like your sirloin and your rump, and it's like you got to dry yeah. age that. But then it's like everything else you kind of have to. Like yeah. separate and take care of. I'm, I'm Are we talking about the people of the I'm deer? I, I, I do. I even <laughs> want to pick. know the answer Either one. to that question. Either one. <laughs> anyway, I look forward to that. I look forward to that chef's table on Netflix. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> like this. This is our. This is our cream of Jenny soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even know how we're gonna get through this episode, but okay. Um, when he starts talking to her, like he sends um, what is the guy's name? I can't. I'm sorry, James. His name he, is Dave. He sends James back to, you know, the community to get mm -hmm. her penicillin. He's like, okay, well, we'll get you the penicillin. You give us half the deer, and you know, maybe we'll maybe we'll talk about stuff. We have room for you guys in our community, and blah 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 blah. And while she's sitting there holding her gun at him and he's telling her about what he used to do and blah, 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 blah. I was like, he is pitching too hard. Like you don't just, granted, it could have been the fact that she was a child, that she seemed like she was alone. And he could have really, you know, oh, I was a teacher. I used to teach kids your age. He probably could have had some noble. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not even going. Sorry, gonna, mm -hmm. I'm, not even gonna, I'm not even going to do the benefit of the doubt. No, His whole absolutely not. Feel just you know talking to her. It's like this is a stranger. This is a person who clearly is not scared of you. She has a gun to your face. You are talking way too much. I was like, something is not right about this dude. And I didn't know if he was going to try to like just kidnap her and bring her to the community. Again, at this point, we don't know that they're cannibals. But it was still just kind of, I don't know, it was the whole, you know, Bible preachy thing. And then him like talking too much to the 14 year old. I was like, mm. well, well, he's he is apparently an experienced groomer. So yeah, he's, he's talking definitely to her in that way yeah like, yeah yeah so yeah. That, that's yeah that's but she ain't simple. falling for it <laughs> yeah. at He's all not. but he talked he talked to her and he got I, I won't say he got her guard down enough but he had her listening enough to the point where he was like yeah so we you know 
we have a community, we have families. And, you know, a few days ago, we sent some of our people to go look for supplies and only three of them came back. And, you know, the one that didn't come back, he was a father and he was killed by a man who was with a young girl. And at this point, she's just like, oh. hey, look, hey, and that like, look, like, you, like... Didn't, you didn't anticipate the rest of that sentence fast enough. Yeah, right. Actually, it actually took me. It took me a took me to the second viewing to realize that that that's what he meant. Like I, at first, I thought he said he, he was just gonna blame him for it. Then I was like, "Oh shit, that's who that was." Okay, I'm tracking. And, but and then the it's other like people who that, were left behind were the ones who. I mean, they saw right. Joel, they saw Ellie, so they were able to say, "Hey, so there was a dude and a girl, and these are the ones who killed Bob." So, um. You know, they, they have her at gunpoint at this point because James has snuck up behind her. They do give her the penicillin and she takes off. And James is yeah. like, you just gonna let and, her go? See, yeah, well, he, he knew she was desperate because of the penicillin. Mm -hmm. And he also wanted to throw her off with telling her about the dude they killed. So no matter how smart she was, he knew that that was gonna throw, and she made a mistake. She ran and didn't think that they would just track her later. Mm -hmm. That's why he let her go. He's like, "Yeah, we'll be able to find her." Mm -hmm. So and left so, the I mean, deer. It's not like it's not. Yeah. It's probably not like there's a whole bunch of neighborhoods in that area. It should be fairly easy to track her well, down. Well, she 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 didn't make it hard. She, right. she didn't make it difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She wasn't thinking about it. She also was supposed to split. Like Mike said, she's supposed to split the deer. She left the whole thing. I don't have time to try to figure out what end I'm going to get at this point. Right. Just Look, get the medicine and go. Get, get the, the medicine, medicine and go. And go. Yeah, but, I but was still, sitting there, still. I was sitting there looking at uh, a conversation in one of my um, Walking Dead groups where uh, people were talking about the show. And he was like, I'm so glad I wasn't Joel because I'm allergic to penicillin. My ass would have been dead anyway. I was like, you know, <laughs> when you think about that, there are people who are allergic to penicillin, but how, how would she even know that yeah you it's know? like you got, you still got you still got to understand that ellie's still young it's not like she's like 20 or 30 years old she's just like i gotta heal him i gotta do this and i gotta do that and she's like she has she has tunnel vision she only mm -hmm. sees the goal where she has to do instead of seeing all the other things that go into what she has to do so mm -hmm. she's going to make mistakes but it's like she still is looking at the end game like mm -hmm. I like Joel needs to get better, so I'm gonna get a medicine. She isn't thinking, oh well, he might be allergic to this. She's like, fuck it, I'm taking that chain. I'm just gonna give him medicine I mean, so he can get healed. As an adult, I'll do the same thing. Yeah, because point, I mean, you know, because if you don't, if you can't he's talk. gonna die anyway. Right. So, so right. at this point, you really have nothing to lose. He can either right. get better or he can die like he was going to. Yeah. And side note, we're using everyone's trying to stay away from fungus. When he needs a fungus to help heal. This is true. Penicillin is technically a bacteria. Hmm. <laughs> Let's look the that up. That both of y'all did that at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I sat here and I looked at that meat and I was like, yeah, that meat ain't, that meat ain't right. Because all of them were looking like, what is this? He was like, venison and the other two was just looking at him like all right it, it was the hesitation for me <laughs> the hesitation yes but also something venison? about the coloring of it because if you've yeah. watched other shows where they've done this type of thing where there's like cannibalism or whatever the meat always looks very different from regular game so i was just like yeah this ain't cool and then the crazy thing is they had already they, they made a soup out of it they had already started serving people and people were already eating when they come in with the deer and he was like hey we can eat from us and everybody else is looking at him like you couldn't do this shit like 10 minutes ago <laughs> they were all i mean most of them were looking at him like no, because he he's sitting here like he did something good. Big one. They're all just sitting there looking at him like and and yes, Mike, you're right. It does even the way that they're looking at him when he comes in the door, they're looking very um 
I don't know, Borgish, set for why, whatever. They're all just looking at him like. Like a coat. Yeah. And notice when and notice when they when they, when they sat down to eat they didn't they didn't eat until he sat down with that big ass plate of of um livers and onions and whatever the fuck he was eating and then Bobby they, they, they they didn't eat until after he prayed and then you know what it reminded me of it reminded it seemed like a it was like a Pavlov effect to me like when he stopped as soon as he stopped eating they went and all you heard was clank 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 yeah. it was almost like a dog eating like they like they were like rubbing. Like hardcore, like like just like eating really really fast, and it's like he's over there sitting just like eating like Hannibal Lecter, like. Mm -hmm. And he had a large plate, and I don't think that's fair. A lot, he had a lot, but I mean that, that's what I mean. Cult leaders can't convince you to do anything. It's like I mean he's just he was basically pimping the fuck out of him. He was just like you know I I got to stay healthy so I can lead you. So I naturally have to have more food, but. I can. I'm going to help you survive, even yeah. though you're not eating as much food or drink as much water as I am. But you know, I'm going to help you because I'm your leader, and I'm helping you pray all the time. And I'm going to keep reading out of the Bible and deceiving you. But I'm hungry as hell. Give me your food. Okay, cool. Now, what was I saying? Okay, Revelations, blah blah blah. He's like, it's this cult behavior. It's like he's convinced them that he, the that he is the one that can continue to keep them alive and that he's going to be the one to take care of them. And they don't have anything else to blame. They just went through 20 years of of, of an apocalypse. So it's like the fact that they're still alive, he's like, God sent me to look after you. So it's like, of course, it's cult behavior. I, and then he I looks good I'm too. Kinda... I, I mean, he's it. nice and, you know, he has color and fullness in his cheeks and face. And he's the rest probably, of them look like their hair falling now. They, you know, they're eating, eating in the, the face. Meat. He's the one yeah, that's eating, eating the venison and the exactly. elk and the rabbit. Right. But I, I'm kind of like Ellie on this one. Uh, I mean, y'all know I'm I'm probably agnostic at best, atheist for, for the most part. I'm like Ellie at this one. So you, you still preaching all of this after all this happened? Are you still like, oh, he's going to provide? I like I like I like her thing where she said, "Oh, so you went from teacher to preacher? What you just you just started rhyming?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "I'm telling you, Ellie, that was so awesome." But I I mean, just and, and the the people who were just just I don't know. And then okay, so here's the uh, I just have so many aside from the fact that it's cannibalism to begin with. I have so many problems with this because it's like if you're uh, just like they were about to chop Ellie up not knowing that she was infected well of course if she you know they've seen her now for multiple days she should have turned by now she was infected so I can kind of get that that little bit of doubt but it's like if you are going out finding random people you know to I don't know, stock the kitchen, whatever you want to call it. It's like, I, I don't know. I just. Well, one, when you cut them up, like they have the heads off, when you cut them up, if they have been infected, you will kind of see that when you are like getting all the meat that you yeah, can get. But at that point, right. it's going to be too late for you. Yeah. Because yeah, Not necessarily. I it'll mean, probably look like it'll look like spaghetti. You have on gloves like you see the strands and, everything. and you're yeah, and you're using your equipment. You just have to sterilize the equipment and burn the body. But if yeah, if remember they are that infected, first woman, the first woman that was a fish, she was dead, and when she opened her mouth up, the the tentacles and things were still moving. Right again, but as long as you back up, if you start cutting and then if tentacles come out, you back away. I mean, you're not going to continue like, what is this? You now know what this is. I'll say, yeah. you, what is this? You don't know how fast they are. <laughs> I mean, you go from you go from eating steak to spaghetti like real quick. You don't want none of that. Uh -uh. I just. Uh... I mean. I mean, yeah, that's. Uh, but I mean, shout out to Ellie for thinking fast when they were getting ready to cut her up, and have and giving them giving her that much time to figure out a way out of it. When she said, "I'm infected," and when he, he saw his hand, he was like, "Oh fuck!" And she but was it like, gave her that so much time. Are you. 
<laughs> but the fact so so after she gives Joan the penicillin, she goes out because she's like, okay, I we still gotta eat. I still need to, you know, I need to see what's going on. And then when she sees the birds, again, Ellie is smart. She may not have grown up in the regular world, but she's smart. She knows some shit. She's like, okay, why are the bird? Oh, okay, that means someone's coming this way. So she goes to look and she sees that, you know, they are coming into the neighborhood. They're about to start going door to door. Oh, and wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We, we do realize she's been with Joel for six months mm -hmm. out in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's probably taught her a few things. Yeah, I so mean, this but, is not but like we knew that from that the. She just learned about. Yeah, no, but we knew that from, from the time when uh she, you know, when he woke up and she was standing watch. Yeah. She was like, probably I did told this her, and I told did this. I looked like on that. my six and yeah. da da da. I did everything mm -hmm. you taught me to do. But let's go back one thing after she gave him the pillar ceiling. I love how she just slept with him. She like put like tried to hug him, but not put too much pressure on him because he's that is her that is her father. That is officially her that father so now. Sweet. She was like, I I need to make sure that he knows that I'm here. I did not abandon him. And if you mm -hmm. look at him, he kind of notices that she's there. He kind of turns his head. He turns his head. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, yeah. So this this is this is the this is the family unit now. So we already know he has done what he needs to do to try to protect her. She's about to do the same. And when she sees them coming for them, she comes downstairs. She gives him a knife and she wakes him up. And she was like, Joel, Joel, there are some people coming. I'm about to lead them away. She was like, but if they come down here, you fucking kill them. You hear me? And I think the panic in her voice and the way she was speaking, he kind of opens his eyes and he's looking and it's almost like he's trying to figure out, like, what the fuck is going on here? Of course, he's been, you know, he's been unconscious. He didn't know what's going on. He was like, hold up. And when she gets up, and she's like, don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep. And he's like, I'm trying not to. But let me tell y'all, I was stressed. I was stressed. Because when that dude found the cabinet and opened the doors, I was like, Joel can't really move. But Joel heard that cabinet move. He was like, hold up. What the fuck did she just say? Oh, hell no. Nah, we're not going to do that. When dude walked downstairs and Joel was gone, I was like, what the hell? Like, Joel was like, oh, let's forget about this injury real quick. Because we got other pressing issues. Man, let me tell you. This episode. Man, how about. We, we, this episode we showed why that. Joel's not to be. Right. This episode showed why, why he's not to be fucked with. Mm -hmm. Like this episode showed you like right. what he's capable of doing like everything else you're like okay yeah that's fine whatever but this episode mm -hmm. when he's when he's barely conscious he, he 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 took care of three people when he was damn near death he was near fucking death he took care of three healthy healthy men mm -hmm. dumb men but healthy men is but and i was just like when he I mean, stabbed that first I, dude in the back of the neck, oh, when I tell you, I had to pause my TV. I was like, oh, that hurt. That hurt. But you know, he had to sit there. He had to hold him. And I'm like, this man has no energy. He has been stabbed. He has lost a lot of blood. He hasn't eaten in who knows how long. But at this point, what's more important to him is that he survives for Ellie and that he protects her. He was like, oh, yeah, what we're not about to do today, y'all are not about to kill me. And then when he set the trap for the other ones and they wake up and they're tied up, I was like, okay, when he starts torturing the dude, I was like, he not this is going to get real ugly because if he was, tor if, if this is kind of the stuff that he was doing for the QZ or for the fireflies, rather, if this is the kind of stuff that he was doing. And he was doing it then for people that didn't mean anything to him. The fact that y'all have his child now, I was like, yeah, these dudes are not getting out of this alive. At That's all. your ass. They do. They was they, after he stabbed the first one. He was like, "Fuck you! I'm not telling you anything." He's like, "Yeah, I believed him." And <laughs> went full <laughs> nigging on him. <laughs> Yep. Went full nigga oh. on him. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but in the meantime, of course, Ellie has tried to lead the men away. This is before Joel gets to him because I think there were let's see, two, four, there were six of them all together. 
Ellie lo tries to lead them away with the horse. One of them shoots the horse, and I was like, damn. All right, well, at least they, they got more food, so that's a good thing, I guess. And the way he, you know, they want to kill her immediately because they're like, yeah, the rest. Of, why are you taking her back to the rest of the community? Just kill her here and now. And he doesn't. Want I think. To do I think that. they. I think they knew his inclinations, and they were like, "Man, I'm tired of shit." No, man. Like, fuck this. I think they they knew how he was. Like, they knew that he was a groomer. That that he had. Mm. There were a couple of the young girls there. They probably walked in on something they shouldn't have seen. So they know why he was trying to take her back. And they were like, nah, we're not doing that. Again, this is another fucking mouth to feed. That means I gotta kill I, I gotta kill Bob over there to feed her. So fuck all that shit. No, right. we're not taking her, not taking her back. And they you if know, they should have went ahead and shot her. I and what's wonder because if if they've been in this community, you know, this this little apocalypse has been going on for 20 years. If he has been doing that in that community, then that means that some of those children are now adults. So now it's making me wonder when he was talking to old girl and he was like, I know you think you don't have a father right now, but you still have one. I was like, oh, and the way that he, he keeps looking at her, her mother, I'm like, was mm -hmm. she one of the, was she a youngster? And he did. Probably. I mean, like, look, think about it like this. He's had 20 years to groom people. Like a lot, like you just said, a lot of those people that have been with him since for however long, have he's probably groomed them so they're already under his in his thrall it's like so i mean he had he he basically like groomed his own his own following and it's like the other you know, the guys probably aren't saying anything because they're like well shit we got food we got status mm -hmm. like fuck it let's just keep going but I, I'm uh, just, I'm just thinking about all the looks between him and whatever a uh, Judy or whatever her name was. I was like, oh. Yeah, maybe. He I'm, I'm also, I'm also, I'm sorry. I'm also confused. They have guns, right? So why is he going after Joel with a bat? Probably to to keep down on the noise. I mean, think about it. infected and clickers are attracted to noise, so maybe they were. That's how. Oh, I, speaking of which, how, how about that? after after oh, she was okay. chasing the rabbit and and fell face first in the snow, when she got up and heard that clicking noise, I was like. Oh, me too. Hell yeah, no. me too. I, I was so like, too. I was like, really, really now? Like, mm -hmm. fuck. I was worried about that too, and then when I saw the deer, I was like, oh well, yeah, that is the noise. It was the that antlers? Made okay, it. cool. It was too. It was a. But I was like, oh fuck yeah. this shit. And, and then Bob may not been part of the main party that had guns because I don't think the other two had guns either. That, but my issue, my my whole issue was we trying to kill. Joel and Ellie, and we think that everybody's going to take them down and kill them. But Bob is the one who started it. He could have let them go. Yeah, he could. So he was the attacker. I mean, if you're going to go out in the world and attack people, our people are going to die. We can't punish people for having self-defense. Yeah, but you got to think about it. If you're on the other side, I mean, we, we have this conversation all the time. If you are on the side of Bob, if you are his family and you're his community, you're not going to look at it that he was doing something wrong. You're looking at it as he was trying to do what he needed to do for, for our community, whether it was taking Joel or Ellie or whether he was trying to get the horse. Either way it goes, he was doing what he was supposed to do for his family, his community, and he was killed in the commission of that. So yeah, regardless but he did of whether or not way. he was the aggressor, Joel is wrong in their eyes. Period. Right, but he's. I mean, it's the same it thing with way. Kathleen in the uh, Kansas City quarantine zone. Her people attacked Joel. Joel killed them, and she was like, "Oh yeah, we yeah, uh uh." She, the little girl, she's with the guy that killed my people. So no, they they got to die. Same thing. But see, Bob paid the punishment. He became dinner. Mm-hmm. But the but the the crazy thing is once they get Ellie and they put her in the cage, like okay, first of all, Bella Ramsey needs an award for this episode because when I say she yeah. ran the gamut of emotions when she was in this cage and she was kind of she was slinking away from him and she was so scared and while he was talking to her, I was just like 
you almost feel like there's no hope for her. And she played that very well. And then when she's sitting there, she's trying to escape and she kind of backs up and she's just looking. I was like, what the hell did she just find? And, you know, of course we see she, she finds the ear. And once David realizes that she, she's seen the ear, he was just like, okay, so yep, this is what we do. And this is why we have done it. And she was like, you're going to cut me into little bitty pieces. He was like, I don't want to. Then he starts going to this whole spill. That wasn't a yes or a no. <laughs> <laughs> like you didn't answer my damn question. He was like, I really don't want to have to do that. Like, and <laughs> Man, let me tell you, he's when he started talking to her and he was like, you know, violence, you understand what needs to be done. And, you know, I I I, I see it because I've been violent too. And da, da, da. And it's like at first you feel like he's trying to recruit her just in the cult. And then as he starts talking more and his is like so slight, but the way his facial expression changes and his body language again i'm i'm always looking at that it was kind of like oh no you are like pervy religious cult violent type person ew pervy. <laughs> yeah and then when he sits there he puts his hand on on the the gate and she puts her hand next to his i think she was trying to figure out she was like oh i know where this shit is going and then he he puts his hand on hers. First of all, like, like even now, I have goosebumps. That was, mm -hmm. I was like, oh no, we are not going to do this shit to Ellie. Y'all are not about to show us this. This is not about to happen. He put his hand on hers and you can hear her go, huh, or some kind of noise that she made where she was like, oh, this is what the thing is. She put that hand on top of his. She pulled them fingers back and broke his fingers. I was like, yes, Ellie, yes, yes. She had, she, if she had been just like a split second faster, grabbing those, keys. Had those keys. I think, no, I think, I think what she should have done is that as soon as she did it, just lean, just grabbed his arm and lean back and like, and bang his head on, on the bars before she banged, before he banged her head. I don't know if she would have had the strength to do that though. Because again, you have I, to I'm think saying, about I'm it. Saying, I, He's been eating. She has not. So she's already. I think all she would have had to do is just fall. No. Just grab his arm and fall back. I think that that would have done at least at least stunned him enough where she could have gotten the keys. I I don't know if it would work because again she's weakened. She's been knocked out. She's probably yeah. got a concussion at this point. So I just I think she did the what was best. And like I said, if she had just been a, a split second faster and gotten those keys, she would have been good. But you know the whole time he was trying to get her to tell him her, her name and she was like ellie he was like what she was like ellie tell them it was ellie the little girl who <laughs> i was like i love this chick i oh but he comes back in with james and they put her on the table and they're literally getting ready to like cut her open and i'm like first of all have you not watched enough nature shows before this apocalypse to know that you never let your prey know that you are coming? Like, even even in regular game, that taints the meat. It 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 changes the flavor. They tell you. I mean, mm -hmm. so I was like, okay. So at this point, he just doesn't care. He he's pissed off that she rebuffed his advances. That she turned. You know that she was like, oh no, I'm not about to be your little creepy wife in this cult and and in your cannibalism cult i'm not about to do it and when he gets ready to do that and and she's like i'm infected and they're both sitting there looking at each other like what the fuck and she's like and you are too because he has a cut on his hand i was like please let him like please let this happen i just wanted that's to what i was feeling uh, i was like let him really turn to see that happen and let in the midst turn. of all of this Joel is again. Joel has found three of the people. He has killed all three of them. He is making his way to the town because he he did the same thing with the last two that he did with um Marlon and um what's her name. He was like, I want you to show me where she is on the map, and then your your partner better tell me the same thing. He didn't even care about the second person. He was like, Oh no, the guy was like, I'm not telling you shit. He was like, That's okay. I believe him. What? I was like, 
Yeah, Joel is on a mission now. Joel is like, y'all done fucked with my child. I'm about to go ham. And when he found when he found the warehouse where the bodies were hanging, like, okay, so yes, I know we're talking about cannibals and, and stuff. And, you know, like we said at the beginning, they only started doing this because they had no other choice, this, that, and the other. And then when we saw the bodies, it was like three bodies, and then it was the deer, and then it was something else. I was like, so why are your people dying? Like, are they dying because of the starvation? And that's why you have them strong? I was... I was like, well, are you really going out killing people or what is the deal here? But I think whatever it was, Joe was like, no, <laughs> let no. me go find her. <laughs> he was like, let me go find her. And it's and- interesting how he didn't, he didn't like completely freak out. He was just like, okay, we got to get out of this bitch. Right. Like, <laughs> okay, this is what is going down. I think yeah. for someone of Joe's caliber, someone who has been doing some of the things that he has done for the QZ. And again, we don't know the magnitude of the crimes that Joe has committed. We just know that he, he has wholeheartedly admitted. Yeah, I was a bad person. I did some shitty things. He probably has seen something to that degree before, or if not in his mind, he's being calculated. He's like, okay, if they are at this point, I only have a limited amount of time to do what the fuck I need to do. I can go freak yeah, out. He must, he, yeah, I'm sure they know about other communities where that has happened. Probably. If he, because if he, I mean, yeah, if he's been doing the smuggling stuff, smugglers talk. Mm-hmm. And he knows mm-hmm. about slavers and all that stuff. So I'm sure he's heard. So you're right. If he saw this, he's like, okay, I know exactly what's going on here. Mm-hmm. We need to leave. Like, he yeah. didn't try to talk to anybody. Try to reason with anybody. He's like, I gotta get Ellie and get out of here because this I, is not. I'm going right straight place. for her, and he looked like yeah. he was prepared to kill whoever he had to, to get to her. And um, I, just, from, I, just, I think from what I was told in the in the video game, like it doesn't take uh this scene and this situation doesn't take place in quite the same way. But I believe in the video game, he actually did kill some of the townspeople to try to get to Ellie. So I was like, oh, okay. So they're, they're showing us that. And that's another weird thing. Where were they? Um, There's a fire in the hall. It's a, Where the is, fuck it's is a everybody? Blizzard and we don't have food and we don't have Bible study. So we're going to be in the house. And they were probably like, he brought her here. That's his problem to deal with. And they're not paying attention to the steakhouse because, again, we, it's not time for Bible study or supper. So we at the house. But I mean, they probably, if if they saw the fire and they knew that he brought her there again, they probably were like, that's his problem. He should have killed her. He should have killed her wherever he found her. And they probably saw the fire, but by the time they saw the fire, Joel and Ellie was gone. And it really was inside. So you wouldn't see it until it was engulfing the restaurant. And the restaurant is in the middle of town. They probably didn't care at this point. They're like, okay, so this is the dude that has us eating other people, has us eating our dad. Yeah, if, if they got him, oh well. well and then the people who are normally the protectors, they're dead now. Mm-hmm. I mean, you you mean you mean to tell me these starving people didn't smell those David burgers cooking in the, in there and didn't think that you know what? I'm hungry. I'm gonna get me. I'm gonna go get me one of them. That's tainted meat. Mm-mm. They probably don't <laughs> want none of it. Oh, uh, me. I wanted to go back to uh, uh. to the Ellie saying that she was infected. Mm-hmm. So I think they they kind of gave us a hint with the dog not detecting her. So, because at first I was thinking, okay, if she was bitten and she tripped the first test, because mm-hmm. you know the test indicated that she was infected, mm-hmm. it just checked for any. It just probably detected antibodies. And she doesn't have any cordyceps in her. Because I thought about that, because that would be why that would that would explain why the dog didn't alert them to her having cordyceps. Right. Yeah. So, you know, I, it was just an interesting thing to think about because there was a question was, you know, if she bit someone, would she infect them? Like or did she accelerate was it Sam accelerate yeah. his oh, uh, yeah. turning by adding her blood to his wound? So I guess that sort of answers the question. 
Hmm. That she's re- she really isn't infected. Yeah. I'm just saying, I, I, it was just something I thought about. No, she probably just yeah, has the like antibodies so, 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 and so, 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 not antibodies, actually so. the the fungi. So the she fungus. has the antibodies mm-hmm. in her. So that's why the dog, because the dog is smelling for that other smell. Smelling for cordyceps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But it would be nice if she could turn them, though. <laughs> we, yeah. I, I don't even know if she would want that kind of uh, superpower. I, I don't know. Because I think in a world like that, <laughs> dealing with dark. people like him, that is a that is a fucking superpower, right? But the way he went out was much better than just turning. So, so they have her on the table. They're trying to discuss whether or not she's infected, whether she's infected David. At this point, David doesn't care. He's like, "We just gonna we just gonna kill her anyway." He was like, "She's spoiled anyway. Let's just kill her." He sl- he slammed the cleaver near her face and then when they got to talking going back and forth and they were getting ready to do it she grabs the cleaver and she plants it in james's neck and she hauls ass out of that room he has a gun and can't hit her i was like dude this is not about to end well for you like she's already gotten the jump on you she just killed one of your men right there two big grown men couldn't handle a 14 year old she about she she about to fuck you up now, the way yes, that they were is. playing the scenes was you see Joel, like I said, you see him in the warehouse and you see him seeing what he sees and all this other stuff and trying to figure out where she is. Like he found her bag, he found her coat. So he knew that she was there. So the way that they played it was like, okay, Joel is about to come to the rescue. And that's what I thought too. But then when you watch the after show with the creators, they were like, yeah, we were absolutely not about to let that happen. Ellie was going to be her own savior and i love that they did that you know she yeah. she's in there with with david now david he he starts pulling the really creepy sh- shit because she goes into i get th- was that still part of the steakhouse that she was in yeah, she was, was hiding from was him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah she's like you know trying to hide from him he comes in with the gun and he starts with the ellie you got to see how good I can be. I was like, oh, oh, oh. I was like, no, somebody needs to kill this fucker and they need to kill him Ugh. fast. Like he has gone too far now. Like, and then when, when she threw some, oh, she, um, she took a piece of wood and she put it in the fire and she threw it at him and it caught one of the curtains on fire. And he turned around and looked and he was like, oh no, I'm, I'm about to go after my prey. And when he does. Grab the. Dumbass, grab the damn curtain and pull it down to do something. Don't let everything burn the fuck. He had other he things care. on his mind because when they do, I don't care when they fire do, when they are sitting there fighting and he gets her down, it's very obvious that he's about to try to rape her. I'm like, dude, the building yeah, is burning. Like, isn't it like dude. Catherine? Catherine, when like all hell is breaking loose and you still trying to kill the kids? Oh, like, Kathleen, yeah. Kathleen. You still got other stuff you need to deal with. <laughs> when she's sitting there fighting, he says that line. He was like, "Oh, don't you understand?" He was like, "I like it when I like it when they fight." I was like, Ooh. "I was like, where's Joel?" I was like, "He needs where's to die Joel? now." Where is Joel? Yeah. That's what I was thinking because he literally had her with her hands above her head, and again, she's one. She's scared. She's frightened. She's weakened. She's injured. I was literally sitting here thinking, I was like, this is not, this is something that's going to be, you know, a traumatic experience for her in that way, thinking that was what was about to happen. Ella was like, no, fuck you. When I tell you, when she was able to, she, she had, she had grabbed a knife and when she stabbed him and he fell down and she just kept stabbing him. I couldn't do nothing but no, 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 no. Say no, right. She got a cleaver. She got yeah. a meat oh, cleaver yes. and me. turned his ass into got on top of her and say he liked the fight. And she got that meat cleaver and said, "I got turned you." Turned him into Who's taco meat. Tiny little pieces now. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, into the meat cleaver that he had. Yep, you're right. Yeah, because she I stabbed said, him at first when when she she stabbed him at first before before he put before he knocked her down, and then he got on top of her. Then she reached and grabbed the cleaver. And hacked his, and I was like, 
ooh, like I was like, yeah, yeah. And I, was like, I sat there with my mouth no, 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 open no. the whole way out, like, like, and she didn't stop. Would you? And that's a direct. And oh, that, no, nope. and that that scene is a direct parallel from the game too. Yep. And I saw. I was like, damn, they did a good job. On Matter of fact, I got I got to give this show Carlos props. Came to my because... office. Carlos came to my office and showed me that scene. Showed me the the side by side. Yeah. And I was just like, yep. They are killing. They're they're killing this. Stuff. It's like the things that they're that they are choosing. They're making really deliberate choices about which scenes to actually mock and recreate mm -hmm. and they're doing a hell of a fucking job with it too yeah. yeah i mean it worked the first time that's that's what people who do adaptations don't get like this is what made it good the first time so why right. would you change it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i mean we've we've said this plenty of times before i mean it works mm -hmm. and it was just oh my goodness this, this scene was just so it was so intense and then when, like I said, she does kill him and she walks outside and she's just like traumatized and she's bleeding and, and she's disoriented. She's in shock. And mm -hmm. Joel comes up behind her and tries to grab her arm and she thinks that it's more people. And at this point, I think she was just like, I can't, there's nothing else I can do. I can't, I can't fight. She was just like, just leave me alone, leave me alone. And when he was sitting there, he was like, hey, hey, it's me, it's me, Ellie, it's me. And when she finally got it, when she finally calmed down enough to look at him and and realize that he was standing in front of her, that she wasn't imagining it, like he was maybe not whole, but he was standing there and he was okay and he was alive. And she just kind of fell into his arms and he was like, I got you, I got you, baby girl. I was like, oh, here comes the flood. Oh, here comes yes. the flood. Like, and you could see how much it cost him to say those words, but also how much it, I think he needed to say that, you know, he gives her her coat, he gives her her thing and, and they walk off in. I was like, you, Mike, I was like, where is everybody? Like the whole, like the whole fucking steakhouse is completely on fire. Like somebody had to have seen that. But then again, I feel like if I'm looking out the window and I see steakhouses <laughs> on fire, and I see this little girl come out of the steakhouse by herself. I'm not going anywhere near her. She done already did some damage. I'm going to help the people. They are probably in the front of the steakhouse. She ran out the back. No, they they would not be in that steakhouse. They are in their homes. They're like, oh. Now like I'm I talking said, about in front of the, now they can see it. And probably they're running out and say, what's going on? Mm. Is everybody safe? But we can't see that because they're in the front. Yeah. I'm like helping I them said, out. Mm-mm. They they probably looked at it and was like, he brought her, that's his problem, whatever. Because I can tell you what I'm doing. I'm at home sleep. I can't eat. You get one meal per day. There's no television. If we already I mean, have five kids, that's enough. I'm just going to go to sleep. The lake isn't frozen over. I, somebody need to be out there fishing. You no, that's too cold. No. Big mm -mm. ass lake. Mm -mm. Don't have nothing in it. Mm -mm. What boat they gonna get on? That's gonna sink out there. Man. It's a resort. They got. It's boats. a resort. They, they probably, probably not twenty boats. years later. If you don't take care of your boat, you will sink. There was boats in there with the with the bodies that were strung up. Just because I'm use. just because I'm living in a boat there don't mean I know how to boat and fish. So if you, in if twenty you get a, years, if, I'm gonna learn. <laughs> if you if you eat humans on a boat, is that considered seafood? You know what? We are not. It's too oh, early man. for that. It's too early for that. Oh my god! Hey, I told I told you in chat that I that I had I had a ton of them. I had a ton of them lined up for for this for this recording. I told you. I told. I gave you warning. I warned you about this. So <sighs> small piece of trivia: the actor who played James in this episode is Troy mm -hmm. Baker, and he is the original voice actor for Joel in the. Joel video game i love how they're throwing people like they're they're putting people from the video game they're keeping them within this world just putting in putting them in different roles and i i, I like it because when he was doing his little interview at the end of the show he said that he thought that he was going to be like a clicker or something and he wasn't anticipating being a part of the story in that way and he was saying that looking at that storyline and where they took it from the game and how they how they did it for the show he was like wow and he said i feel so lucky to be a part of this and i'm just like there's another 
if you watch the end of the episode and I think there was another another interview that I watched yesterday on YouTube whoever is interviewing Craig Mazin about this show that dude when I say you know you get creators who are passionate about their products and excited about their products but you don't you almost never see the giddiness or the joy because they're I would say they're too busy being professional or being stoic. Craig Mason is like, I get to do this for a living and I'm loving it. And the joy on his face when he talks about this project and how happy it is, I think that's one of that's also another reason why this show works so well because the person who is creating it, he really loves the material. He was like, okay, yeah, so there are some things that we are going to change, but no, this is what people love. We're going to keep it. This is what I saw in the game. This is what I want to see on the screen. And I'm so stoked at being able to bring that to life. It was like, he just needs to run all the things. Just all mm -hmm. give him all the things. Mm -hmm. Because if he um, brings even half of that enthusiasm to another project, whatever, I'm there. Um, there's a rumor, rumor that Ashley Johnson, who played Ellie, voice actor, mm -hmm. may be in the season finale. Ooh. I, I think she is. Which is Maybe next week. Because that's what I was about to say. Oh. I was about to say, shout out, we get to see full circle. We get to see Ellie next week mm -hmm. by Ashley Johnson. Oh, we only have one episode. Because I actually got pictures of it, so it has to be. Yeah, yeah there are oh, yeah, I, I, think, I won't I say they, what she's playing. I, I think I think they they you just it gave it away by saying looking. what you didn't say who I'm not gonna playing. You said what she's playing. No, I didn't give playing. anything what? away. No, that necessarily what? doesn't give anything away. It's who or what she's playing. But well, really, she's not I didn't give Ellie, away. So yeah, that's the one person she's not playing. <laughs> well, she's not playing Joel either. But, you know, <laughs> Ellie, Joel, or Tommy, <laughs> right? <laughs> But yeah, I I was looking at the preview for next week and I was like, I have no absolutely no idea what's going on. And it's okay. I'm I'm just I'm here for it, but I'm so like, how long are we gonna have to wait for season two? Because oh my like I love everything about the show. And I know there there are some people who have been, you know, again, comparing it to The Walking Dead because of, you know basically they're both zombie apocalypse shows and people are like oh it's better than this or it doesn't have this and I feel like you can't even put them in the same like you can't really compare them in a sense because one of the things about the walking dead yes it's very character driven but there's a lot of fucking characters in that universe that you're trying to keep up with and that you're mm -hmm. you're you know keeping track of with the story with this story, with The Last of Us, even though we are introduced to new characters, the show never fails to remind us that this story is about Joel and Ellie. Like, they are always in the forefront. I think the only episode where they weren't was the Frank and Bill episode. And even with that, it kind of served their story a little bit more. So, right. I just... I. How long are we gonna have to wait? Are we gonna have to wait to twenty twenty five? I hope not. That's a because you know these shows have hella long hiatuses now. I don't want to mm -hmm. wait that long. But Michelle and Anthony, have y'all started playing the game yet? Uh, Michelle and Bailey have started playing. Okay. I wouldn't say I started playing. I got through. It is hilarious because <laughs> Bailey played it. A few days ago and she's mm -hmm. trying to get michelle to play it. and michelle finally played it she's over there trying to coach her <laughs> it is hilarious. It's hilarious so i have made it to sarah dying and they're on recon right now ellie not ellie um joel and tess oh okay okay and I, that's how far as i got that i died a few times <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that, yeah. that's that's expected. Press triangle, press triangle. Which was the triangle? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, aim. The circle goes where you're going to shoot. I'm like, don't punch them. You can't punch the infected. I got bitten a couple of times. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's pure comedy. Oh, my goodness. It's pure comedy. So. That's hilarious. 
I'm gonna have to come over and try and play it one day. I had, you know, I I don't think I've ever really played any games on like a PlayStation, like aside from regular like Mortal Kombat those types of games. But I haven't played on a console in like years. Me I neither. Kinda, I kind of like the play. last one I did was a Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, three sixty. Yep, and that was. It, was, it could be about 10 years, yeah, ago. 10 years ago. Okay. Because I'm yeah. a computer gamer, so mm -hmm. I can do a keyboard. Right. <laughs> so. Mm. Um, again, I, I do love the fact that they made Ellie the hero of her own story and not the damsel in distress type thing. Um, I do love that because I feel like that kind of now it, it does one it does elevate her to where Joel is but also I think with him saying the things that he said to her like maybe we've never seen Ellie as violent but I mean even in the episode prior when she was in the federal school and you know she hit someone and gave her 17 stitches we know that that propensity for violence is there we've just never really seen it on this scale so now I'm yeah but like how? it's self-defense i'm gonna stay alive because mm -hmm. now she's right. probably feeling she's trying to stay alive for herself and joel so i don't have time to be a regular old 14 year old girl i don't have time for this i mean right. i have to put i had to do what he taught me and my instincts mm -hmm. and and it's also cool because in the game later you play as both Joel and Ellie. Mm -hmm. So this was like an Ellie thing. Like if you're playing the game, you would have been playing as Ellie. Yeah. So you would have been the one sitting there, right? Yeah. Doing all mm -hmm. of this, I, I imagine that's good for getting some, you know, pent up for aggression and frustration out. But uh, one more episode. <clears throat> so we are going to cover the finale episode as usual and then we're going to do a bonus episode for the last of us because um as we talked about earlier when we first started covering the show none of us play the game like we're vaguely familiar with it but none of us have actually played so i wanted to talk to a couple of people who have actually played the game and see what they think about the show, the adaptation, how it compares to the game, and just what are some of the things that they liked and didn't like about the adaptation. So we're going to have our friend and listener, Carlos. He's going to be on the show with us next week to talk about it. And he is like a huge gamer. And, you know, the funny thing, I think I've said this multiple times when we've talked about various things. Carlos is one of those people, he hates video game adaptions because he feels like they never get it right. And when the first episode of The Last of Us dropped, he walked into my office a few days later. He was like, oh my fucking God, this is how you do a video game movie or a video game show. Like, where has this been all my life? And every week he comes in and he was like, I love this show so much. And I, you know, he just loves everything that they're doing with it. So I want to get him on here and he's going to talk about it. And then we're also going to have Jason from Bring the Popcorn Podcast. You know, I've done a couple of co collaborations with him. I think Mike has done a few of their shows and yeah. um, he has also played the game. Um, I think he told me he has played the game several times all the way through. So we're going to mm -hmm. get him on here to talk about that as well. And just again, how to see how the gamers feel about this adaptation and um, what they're looking forward to moving forward. Um, let's see. Before I move on to other business, do you guys have anything else to say about this particular episode? Save mm -hmm. your pun for the end, Mike, because I have one more <laughs> thing I have to talk about. Save it for the end because I saw your face yeah. and I was like, nope, not yet. Fine. Nope, not yet. Fine. I, I learned that I'd rather be a vegetarian. Uh, 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 I don't know. Yes, is... Absolutely. Absolutely. Like I just and I know if I'm if I'm in that situation, I will probably feel I'm different. You, but you say that now. now. No, 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 no. I'm okay, desperate, desperate one time 
One time no, I don't say that now. I don't even uh, know. Girl, you said it. that then, and then when you saw the body saying you were like, you know what? No, it's no, but I'm okay with that. You're <laughs> desperate to one time, one time we having a human meal. But they carried it too far for having bodies hanging for the I'm winter. About, I'm about to go eat some sticks and I mean, so, no. So yeah, at so that point I'm a want, vegetarian. So you want them to keep it on the ground? I mean, you gotta keep it up in the air. But we I said we only gonna do this one time, just to tie us over, mm -mm. I mean, not I'll continuously. Eat. I'll get full on snow. I'll be all right. I'll be okay. No, I'll go find see. some vegetation. I, I'll go find some of the good mushrooms. I'll go find. <laughs> I'll, I'll, go, I'll, I'll, I'll go be like Smeagol and and go go hand diving in the lake for some fit. No, mm -mm. right. I'll learn how to fish. Mm -mm. Yeah, mm -mm. I'll not. be using my imagination like a motherfucker. Be like. She said but, fine. McDonald's. Oh. No. Mm -mm. I don't even want to. No. I'm not even going to do that. Um, we have an Learn to like birds. <laughs> mm -mm. So, Where are the chickens at? They're, they're with your chickens? They, they already gone. <laughs> them chickens. Th they've them been chickens gone. gone in the first year. Gone. You don't kill. You, you eat the eggs. You don't eat the chicken. People don't think about that Where when they're hungry. Where chicken comes from? You eat the chicken. No, I mean, yeah. I'm talking about you're supposed in, to save them in, in a desperate time like that. You should hold on to, the to chicken. chickens. But if I don't know it. when, if I don't know the day or time that I'm gonna die, and I still have the ability to eat fried chicken, that is my favorite food. I'm eating some fried chicken, and I'll figure the rest out later. It's just, <laughs> it is what it is. You know, I I'll eat the I'll right. eat first thing to go with. Pigs were gone. I mean, cow, cattle, yeah. all gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I figured it, we'll figure it out. Like I said, no, not, I will... no milk anywhere. All the milk gone because there's no cows. Yep. So you find you some powdered baby milk, Similac. You better be look, You better walk oh, to man. some of these towns with some trucks and start doing some road trips, going to other states and seeing what you can find and bring it back. Because no, I'm not. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm not doing the human rotisserie. That's not happening. No. I said desperate, oh, desperate times. I always think of mm -hmm. that episode of The Walking Dead. The eating that man's foot. Tiny meat. <laughs> they was about to be eating some tiny meat with, with And see, they, they crossed the line too, you know, because you could have went out and scavenged for food, but you said, F it. We going to grow vegetables to eat with the people meat. I mean, you got you have to have balance in their diet. It's like you can't so, just. Eat. I mean, what's wrong with You, gotta pair, you yeah. gotta pair it with carrots and lettuce Cows, and no. Brussels sprouts, no. and like get a, get a nice little salad going with it. It's like right. we are going. We are going to stop that part of the conversation. We're gonna tell you about Nerdy Grow, which is an inaugural nerd convention here in Atlanta. It's kind of uh, Carnival Mardi Gras themed. Uh, it is taking place this weekend at the Atlanta Marriott Century Center. Anthony and I will be attending because we will be doing uh, five panels. We're going to do the bad parenting panels that we did last weekend at Atlanta Comic Convention. We are doing a Rings of Power panel. Um, I will also be doing a Warrior Women panel and I'm doing a panel on the Immortal Universe on TV, the um, Interview with the Vampire and May Mayfair Witches shows. So um, we do have information about that convention on our website. So you can go to fandomhybrid.com to find out more information, or you can go to nerdygraw.org to find out the information. You can look at the guests. They're apparently going to have a, a huge burlesque show that I'm very much looking forward to seeing. Oh, I'm um, going to miss it. Oh, yeah. I know. Yep, y'all are going to miss it. But Anthony and I will be there. We'll take pictures and we'll we'll just come back and relay all the goodness to you. Ha, ha, ha. But um, anyway, uh -huh. for now, that's it for our show. You can find us online at www.phantomhybrid.com. We are on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Phantom Hybrid. You can chat with us on our Discord channel. You can watch us on our YouTube channel. And you can listen to us on all major podcast streaming platforms. Thanks for listening. We hope you join the conversation next time.